Hello there, so recently I've given you 6 RTS you can expect this year, but turns out there's much more, so if you like RTS games, here is actually 6 more games to look forward to, 2 of them you can actually play already. So without further ado, here we go. If you do like the video, subscribe, like, comment down below if I missed anything. First game is called RTS Tactical Warfare and this one you can already play you just have to apply for the playtest on Steam link will be down below in the description and I did play it I played the skirmish I'm the purple one here and it plays a little bit like Red Alert 2 if you kind of squint you can see Red Alert 2 all the way it does have harvesters uh, you have to build up your units and then attack, so it has base building, very very similar to Red Alert 2. The only thing I did notice right now, the AI can build much faster than you can. Even though I thought I'm really really fast, I just got destroyed because uh, apparently AI um, already had, I don't know what kind of tech units, but uh, yeah. I just couldn't do anything about it, but the developer did say they're looking into that and they're fixing that part of the game. But you can try it out. I do think online is also available already, although I didn't have I didn't find any matches. So I couldn't try that out. Overall though, it looks really really good. Uh, it plays really well when uh, the AI allows you to do so, but it is only the second gameplay test so it is expected that the game will not be perfect but it is shaping up to be really really good there are two factions as of now there are Asarlians which are attacking the earth and then there are Terrans which of course are the earth's defenses so tactical warfare you can try it out I do recommend that you do second game you can already play is Rogue Command. Now this isn't your typical RTS game, it's actually kind of a mix between RTS and a roguelike. So what you do, you choose your blueprint at the beginning and you click through what you want, either some drops which you can use during your uh, battle, there are one-time power-ups, or uh, you can use gold, shop and so on and then you go into the battle and the unit you chose at the beginning is the one you can build. Now every building has the cap of how much you can have. For example, Gatling tanks I have here which are really really strong. I think they're uh, just free per building. So you have to build another building if you want uh, more units for that one. You can also expand that by uh, choosing power-ups. And then you just proceed level by level like you would at a roguelike like you would something at uh, Slay the Spire, each level you finish, you get more uh, to buy and more to build and then you have to destroy your enemy while gathering resources. Very good! Alright, next up is Broken Arrow. If you ever played World in Conflict, you will recognize this style of game and if you didn't play World in Conflict, why not? Uh, you should get it now, it's very very cheap nowadays and it offers a lot of fun. So what is Broken Arrow? Well, it's an RTS focusing on grand scale battles without base building. I believe you call in your units and then you just go at each other. Uh, the units available for fighting are uh, aerial units, infantry and of course ground machinery. And you will be able to play as multiple nationalities. Right now in the closed beta I think the nationalities are United States and Russia and when the game comes out you will have much much more options. The machinery of war is based on real units so there is no fantasy, the technology is not advanced, there is no alien race attacking the humanity and you have to save it. It's all very very grounded in realism. And as we can see from the trailer, it looks awesome. The graphics look great. The scale of the units is amazing. And apparently they will be 5v5 online multiplayer battles. So it seems that we will have these grand battles in open field, in the cities, and you will just be able to go uh, at each other. Now, 
as for the nationalities they will be adding more um, from what I saw there will be a lot of them because there is over 200 units that are based on or are actually uh, the real units that exist in real life so for example tanks uh, aircraft and infantry and their weapons are all based in realism and if you're into that kind of game you should try that out and if you want to have a little preview do get world in conflict it's very cheap on steam next up we have fata deum now this one is a little bit different from every other one on the list because it's not a classic rts uh, in olden days i used to play black and white now what is black and white it's a game where you were a god and you kind of influenced your population to do your bidding and this is actually the same thing with of course the exception that you don't have the creature as you had in black and white you had this huge creature that uh roamed around and did your bidding too uh, you are just yourself a god and you influence your people so they don't just you know uh, you don't just build your city and raise it up no you have to convince your followers to do your bidding so you have to plan ahead a little bit on how to do that and there's two ways to do that one is to be good and possibly to make life easier for your uh, population for your followers and the other one is just be evil which i am planning to do on my first playthrough i am totally not planning to be uh, sauron totally not i mean it's fun to be evil right uh, so you have these two options and i do believe that uh, it will offer a lot of fun if it's anything like black and white was which you could do a lot of stuff with the miracles and you could grab your um, followers and say hey you come here do this this seems exactly like that it seems that you will be able to do that i saw that you are able to pick up your followers and i do wonder what kind of miracles and what kind of things you will be able to do as good and evil so fata deum is one that i'm watching and I hope it turns out to be great as the trailers show us. Okay, and here we have DORF or DORF as I will call it. This is another one of those games that reminds one of old Command and Conquer games. Although this one, I will say the scale of the units that you command looks absolutely colossal. And look at this on the trailer right here look at all of those units so you will of course build your base and the way you will do that is with either gaining resources through infantry or harvesters so both of them are able to do it uh, we have three factions known as of now there is the empire that is slowly crumbling it's the western nations i believe then there is the barbarians that um slowly rose from nothingness to kind of build the machines of war through basically what was trash and then you have uh, the consortium which is the technologically most advanced faction in the game and it's comprised of more eastern countries uh, but every single one of them seems to be viable as of now i really really hope for a demo for this one soon because it looks so awesome and it reminds me of Red Alert 2 again, but with a bit of a twist of their own, because look at the scale. Even the buildings are, are huge, so infantry looks really, really small. Like right here on the trailer, uh, the infantry looks really, really small compared to everything else that is there. And um, that's very rare to see usually the infantry looks like it's the size of the tank and this one just look at the, all those units look at all those explosions uh the gameplay seems really good it seems a bit slower i would say than uh, rts tactical warfare which is good looks a little bit more tactical than that one so you will have two rts games that look very very classic like 
to choose from, either Dwarf, Tactical Warfare or both. Why not both, right? And for the last one, today we have Sanctuary Shattered Sun. Uh, this one was actually recommended to me by a viewer, which uh, thank you for that, and I immediately took a look at it, and it reminds me of Supreme Commander, which was a game that offered extremely large-scale battles, and it seems like this is uh, very, very similar to that. You have to worry about your uh, power and resources. I believe here this is the extractors. And of course you build your power grid and then units and then you just go at each other. This seems like it will have the most large scale battles out of all of the games here because that's what uh, Supreme Commander had. You command hundreds and hundreds of units, not just, you know, 20 tanks and 15 infantry. No, that's very, very little for uh, this kind of game. Uh, it seems that you will be able to go at it with huge huge armies there are three factions known again and they uh, each play differently so you will get to choose what uh, style of gameplay you like most but what i will say we do need another supreme commander game because those were awesome and i will be honest i kind of missed rts genre to thrive because in past years it really didn't but with all of these games that we have now uh, all of these games that are coming out now i have even more uh, to recommend in the future some of them you can play i think we rts enthusiasts are doing well so these were six more rts games i recommend and much more is coming so subscribe for more comment like say which one you are looking forward to until next time goblin out